Hi guys, welcome back to another GGF video. Today we're taking a look at the Thermaltake Tough Power Grand Platinum 1200 Watt Power Supply. So in this series, what we're doing is I'll be covering all the components I'll be doing in this uh, new Thermaltake build. So if you're not familiar, um, you may or may, may or may not know that GGF has been selected, I myself Stuart, in the 2015 Thermaltake Case Mod Invitational competition. So seven modders from around the world have been selected to represent their country and we've been uh, given pretty much uh, unlimited thermal take gear we, we can choose from and our main task is to, we had to use the Thermaltake Core X9 case, we could use either one or two, and we had to sort of build the best looking uh, system we can do. So it's pretty much just like a, uh, a build off between some of the uh, some of the top models from around the world. So what I'll be doing is in this uh, series of videos, I'll be covering each component I'll be using uh, in this build. So I won't be covering some of the really small things. I'll probably be doing a video on all the water cooling gear in one. I'll be doing, doing videos like the motherboard, uh, the power supply, the, the video cards, so we'll, we will be using three GTX 980s, uh, we'll be using a dual socket Asus board, I've already done a video on the, the cases, and we'll just be going through things like the SSDs, and then once all that's, that's done, we'll do sort of stages along the build, so we don't have too much time, it's only about a month uh, of build building the whole time, so I really have to start pushing out these videos, and we really need to start on the build. Um, but I can't do too many videos yet because uh, gear is still arriving. So what I'm going to do now is just focus on, on the power supply. Uh, it's not going to be a review. Um, I'm just going to be talking about uh, this power supply and why I chose this one and so on. So we'll just jump in. Now these ones uh, have just come into Australia. I don't think you can, can get them yet. But um, if it's any indication on the uh, on the previous Tough Power, uh, you know, the, the DPS, I think we had the DPS 850. They are a great performing power supply. You can't really get much better. Um, those ones were a gold. Now these ones are a platinum. So I can only assume these ones are going to be better. Now they're backed by a seven uh, year warranty, which is really sweet. Uh, it's got all, all your other standard uh, has, has well ready, uh, ERP ready, and so on. So we'll just see what's on the back. Probably want to have a look at them. Um, I am reading this upside down. Um, so what you get, 24 pin, you get one, of course. Uh, you get your four by, uh, so you, you get your two eight pin EPS for your motherboard. Uh, you get two of them, one is breakable into four. Um, break, breaks in half, sorry, into two fours. Probably, if you're gonna be needing a four pin uh, to power your motherboard, um, I guess you're gonna be having a motherboard that requires an eight and a four. You would not sort of buy this on a motherboard that only has a four pin EPS, because that's your more lower end boards. Uh, your four pin uh, peripherals, so say your um, old CD-ROM drives, any like fan controllers and whatnot, you've got eight of those. You've got your two floppy, I'm not sure why they still do floppy. I guess uh, things like some sound cards use the floppy connector. Uh, your five pin SATA, you get 12, and then your eight, uh, eight pin PCI Express, you get eight of them. So each, um, each eight pin PCI Express cable can break into your six as well. So you don't get a separate lot of six, a separate lot of uh, eight. So looking at your voltages and your amps, so 3.3 and five volt, pretty much standard 25, 20, uh, two there, but you want to look at your 12 volt right. So you have a massive 100 amps right there. So that's going to be awesome. And then the remaining ones you don't need to worry about. And this is the EU standard. So we'll just jump straight in and have a look. So I've been using um, thermal tape power supplies quite a while. I had a uh, 1475, I think, uh, tough power, which had the sort of lights on the side of it. Uh, before I throw throw that away, you get the little warranty guide, and then you get sort of a really detailed uh, sort of instruction manual. But that's in many languages as well. So as I was saying, yeah, I've had the 1475 Tough Power. I've had the more recent uh, DPS, which has the uh, the USB B on the side, and that was a really good performing power supply. Um, but this one doesn't have the USB, so they've sort of dropped that on these platinum ones. So you get your uh, standard IEC cable, some zip ties, and you get some rubber um, rubber bits. And we'll show you where, where these go on later on. And they have given me the, uh, this is your EU plug, so I won't be able to use that. I got plenty of IEC cables that I can use. All right, we might just put the power supply off to the side. And we'll just have a look and see what you actually get in the bag. I'm assuming you're gonna get quite a lot of cables, purely because how much you do get with them. Random tie wrap floating around. Okay, so as I said, the two, the two uh, floppy connectors, this looks like all your uh, or your PCI Express. So I do like it how, um, if it's anything what I'm thinking of, yes, they actually do, one cable plugs into your power supply, 
uh, one end and then the other end gives you two eights. So if you're running uh, one video card that requires an eight and a six, you only need to run one cable off to your video card because that'll power the two connectors for it. I actually really like these. Uh, a lot of people don't because they say you get these, this, this big uh, sort of loop thing, but I've done quite a few builds and it's quite easy to, to just run the one cable uh, from your power supply up to your, your video card and you can just nicely have these two plugged in and then you can just loop this under the, the video card and keep it nice and clean. So if you've got eight, I'm assuming eight, uh, PCI connectors, I'm assuming you get four cables. So you got one, two, three, four. Yep, so there's your four cables. Um, I'll just see if I can grab a tape measure and we can just measure these. Okay, so I've got a tape measure now. I'd say these ones are somewhere around 500 to 600 millimeters. Let's have a look. So yeah, that's uh, from end to end, that's 600 there. And then it looks like you get about 150 or so. Yeah, about 150 or so on the extra, uh, extra connectors. So that's not too bad, 600. Uh, millimeters that should reach uh, reach to most uh, power supplies to, to video cards. In most cases, unless you're going with something enormous, you'll probably need to use uh, extensions, which is pretty much standard. Um, if you do go for uh, a crazy large case, you normally do need to use extensions. All right, so moving on to the 24 pin. I'm just trying to see how different this kind of looks. It does look quite different. So what they've done, it's actually Okay, so with your 24 pins, you know when it's modular, you get your 24 pin that goes on, on your motherboard, and you normally get the uh, 24 pin that sort of breaks into two, and one goes into one bit on the power supply, one bit goes on the other. Well, this one is giving you pretty much dead set two 24 pins on each end, and then a one will go into the uh, power supply. Okay, so this one here says two PSU. So I don't know if you can see that. So you get two PSU. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. And I'm assuming that's gonna be keyed. Uh, you're not going to be able to plug this uh, vice versa and that's it there. So that's um, pretty weird how they've uh, sort of had to like do it in many runs and they've kind of laid them on top of each other and they've put this sort of heat shrink around it to keep it in. So And it's kind of hard to get this to come out straight. The only issue is you've got one wire which is sort of stopping it go out straight, so not that the, that's a huge deal, because once it comes out into your case, you're, you're really gonna only use about about this much in length, so as long as this can go out reasonably straight. So we'll just see how long this is. Okay, so this is about 640 millimeters in length, so that's quite long, that's huge. So actually longer than the PCI Express leads. And then moving on to your other cables. So here's the SATA, that's probably the next most important. Okay, these are really long. I'm gonna to have to move this even further out, even further again. I'll say this is gonna nearly hit a meter. Okay, so that is exactly one meter in length. So your SATA, so you get one, two, three, four on each one, and that is a meter in length. So before you get to the first SATA, you're hitting about 560. And then each SATA um, is then incremented in about 150 millimeter spot. So that is absolutely humongous. Uh, well, let's just make sure that they're all they're all the same length, and I haven't you haven't done just a few different uh, random lengths. So yeah, that's the same. Uh, we've got one more SATA. So you get your four on each one. You get 12 all up. So you get the three the three lengths. And yeah, that one's exactly the same. So yeah, you got a meter each. Um, on those three started, which I've never seen a power supply give you that much length before. So you're not going to be wanting to put this in a small case if you do need to use a lot of the cables. Okay, moving on to Molex. I think this is going to be exactly the same. Oh, Molex I'll say is a fraction over a meter. And before the first Molex starts, you're looking at about six, uh, 580 millimeters. And then once again, you've got your 150 increments apart. So. That is also whopping as well. So it's good that they've kept the Molex and the SATA the same length. And there you get the one, two, three, four Molex. So eight Molex these days on a pass I think is more than enough. And then 12 SATA is pretty much where I look for a high-end system. I look for um, I look for around 12 SATA. Now moving on to your two EPS. So this is your EPS, which had your solid eight pin. It doesn't break. And this is running at about uh, 650 millimeters. And then your EPS, which is the uh, the breakable, which is this one here that just breaks off into two two fours, is the same length at about the uh, 
650. Okay, so you get some huge lengthy cables there, which is a uh, which is good to see. I guess on a on a high end power supply like this, you are going to be putting it into a large case. You definitely don't want. To, so there goes the box. You definitely don't want uh, to have to get extenders or something because uh, this is quite a quite an expensive expensive power supply. I'm not sure how much exactly it is, um, but I still think it is relatively cheaper than some of your some of your, uh, your other brands out there that um, seem to be more sort of popular in Australia. But um, I am interested to see how much this actually will be once it hits the shelves. All right, so this sit here comes in a really nice uh, sort of, I wouldn't say a case, it just comes in like a bit of a skirt or something wrapped around it. Nice there. And now we have it there, so it looks really nice. I might actually get some uh, slow-mo shots and stick them up so we can actually see. So you got, I can't even actually see that. So there we go, you got the nice TT logo. I do like how it's now got the uh, all, all the silver and black. It looks really stealthy, really nice. And then you've got your power in and you switch then you got the tough power grand 1200 watt 80 plus platinum nice thermal tape logo and you see what well, what they've done is that's actually upside down so depends which which way you do that you will have the logo up the right way most of the time I do like that whereas if you put the logo the same way on each side um, depends what case you have you often have uh, the, the writing upside down so it's good they've done that and there we have all the Connectors there, so you can see your PCI, PCI Express, your two CPU, your main connector. I really like how it's one clean, nice long main connector. I know on the previous DPS power supplies they had a, a two main connectors that were split, and it was really hard to get the two to reach. So I really do like it how it's just the one solid, and then you've got your one, two, three, four peripheral slash SATA in there. So that's really nice. Um, I might just finish this video off with a few um a few close ups of this. You can see the all the specs there, the main 100 amp 12 RL. But yeah, what I'll do is, and you actually got a nice little TT design. Yes, yeah, what I'll do is I'll actually um, do a nice few a uh, few little uh, pan shots of this, just to show you how nice this looks up really close. And um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, so definitely not a review. Don't take this as a, a review. I'm just showing you the gear that I'll be using um, in this build. And until um, now, we'll. Uh, Leave it at that, and I'm not sure what the next video will be, but I want to thank Thermal Tech for sending, sending this out for the build and supporting this whole build. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time.